All right, y'all, so one of these I received yesterday and I wasn't gonna do it yesterday because my guy Trey Sense got a package yesterday and it was from the same house and I didn't wanna be, um, I don't know, I guess cluttering YouTube with all of these fragrances from the same house so since he posted his first i waited i even told him that you know <clears throat> that since he got his i wasn't going i was gonna wait maybe a week or two but he was like oh, go ahead and let me know and i actually forgot to take pictures of the fragrances and show him what i got yesterday so i decided to go ahead and do it today but before i get into that box i'm gonna get into this box and i just went downstairs literally right after i posted my last video a few minutes ago about the mystery number two fragrance from sensual obsessions i got this package and it is i, I cheated because i already opened this so i already knew what it was because first of all i see the name on the front of it and secondly i had already bust him down and I actually wanted to show, not the box, but what's in the box. Because I don't think anybody has ever shown the inside of the box. And this has some kind of tape on the back of it. Uh, and it's at the bottom of the box. And it says, inspiration can come from the unexpected. And it's like some, you know, cartoon-like visas. And one of them... It say, all of them say the world of Zaharoff and one has the plain credit card type deal. This one is the car, boat, and train. And I guess those are the means of travel. If I'm not mistaken, it has the Zaharoff logo on each one of them. Like here, 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 and here. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then it's wrapped in this tissue. And I was about to open it. And I saw that and I was like, that's pretty cool. So on the side it has this little lion face. It's actually a whole lion, but... And it says Zaharoff. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Zaharoff is the lion here, and Zaharoff here is just a sticker to hold the, the tissue on. And I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off because it's not important. And here is the fragrance. And they literally cut the plastic off the back, the cellophane. And it's written onto the box. It says, Keith, to one incredible gent, keep doing you, George. And that's what he wrote on the back of it. And I'm not sure if this is his handwriting or somebody, you know, wrote this for him. Hopefully it's actually his handwriting, but that's what's on it. And this box is not a bad looking box. Um, cardboard, of course. This is like some kind of... This is not a real plaque. It's more like hard cardboard or something. Um, has a metallic type finish. A bronzy type finish, finish to it. Gold or whatever you want to call it. Rose gold. Almost. Says Zaharoff has the Z on the front. Signature pour ohm 120 ml. Uh, on the back, it just has ingredients. And if you want to check out this his uh website, it's www.zaharoff.com. That's what's here at the bottom. Um, on the bottom, you have information and a reference number. <clears throat> on the top. It has that same lo that Z logo. And 
I'm pretty sure you guys and gals have already seen this, but this is how it comes. It sits inside this box. This lip can fold down and it's almost like a little card. Uh, it says something special awaits you. And the number is 548 and then it says email your, um, I guess, what is that? In to Z Society at Zaharoff.com. I don't know what that stands for, but I guess this is the uh, 548th bottle. I guess that's supposed to say number. It just says N O. Uh, okay. And. Pretty sure by now, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. But this is the bottle. Pretty nice looking bottle. It's a lot different than a lot of the other bottles. Um, you don't see many with this type design. Pretty heavy. Cap, not so heavy, but it does snap into place. But I never recommend anybody to hold any fragrance, period. I don't care how good the cap snaps on. It can have one of them mason jars where you put the top on and it got the little two metal things on the side. You snap down. I don't give a shit if you got one of those on there. I don't recommend people holding anything by the cap, period. Um, but it does snap into place like I already showed you. Um, check the atomizer. I already know what this smells like because I wore the sample um, and I was then wishing I had more, but. Alright, so let's check out this atomizer. So, on the third pump, I got a little juice. It's a pretty decent atomizer. This is nice. Now, I will say, like I said before, this is a strong, potent fragrance. Kind of puts me in the mind frame of something like a Lapidus pour on. I'm not saying the smell, but I'm saying how strong it is. It kind of reminds me of a Lapidus pour on. One of those old school type fragrances, how they used to pack a punch. You can tell there's some sweetness in it, a little bit of spice. It's not bad. Something like this is perfect for the holidays, like Thanksgiving and Christmas. This will work well for that. You may be able to pull this off spring and summer. Personally speaking, I like this better for the holidays. It's nice. It's not bad at all. George, you did your thing when you made this one, my friend. And, you know, all the blessings to you. Um, hopefully, whatever scent you decide to come up with next, I hope it's just as good as this one, if not better. And, hey, anytime you want to send a sample, I'm right here, my friend. Thank you again, George, um, for, you know, giving me the opportunity to get a full bottle of this fragrance. Um, I know it, it probably cost you a pretty penny to uh, manufacture this, get everything, you know, situated, packaging, the bottle, all that good stuff. And you're out here just gifting people this when you don't have to. I appreciate it. I can't speak for anybody else, but I truly appreciate it. And I'm not sitting here saying that this smells good just because this man gave me this. Because if I would have got that decant and it would have smelled like toilet water, that's exactly what the hell I would have said, that it smelled like toilet water. But this actually is a pretty good fragrance. It's not bad, guys. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's the best in the world, but for what it is, 
it's a damn good fragrance and I think in most people's cases this may be worth the money but I don't even know what this runs I heard it's kind of pricey which puts it out of my price range because I can't afford it I got too much going on in my life right now to be running around trying to buy some cologne but I think it's worth the price um Georgia did a great job here. Thank you again, man. All right. So, Trey already knows what this is in this box. But I'm going to go ahead and um, open it up. Oh, my God. Excuse me. And show you all what's in here. So... I know, I think, uh, Mr. Miami Cuddles talks about this fragrance. Uh, Stefan or Stefan, I think he talked about this fragrance house. And it may be one or two others, I'm not sure. But I know I've been seeing a lot of this posted on Facebook. And I actually was reaching out to a lot of companies trying to see if I can get some samples to review some things and give my point of view because it seems like a lot of people love my point of view um, but I was reaching out to fragrance companies and they were turning me down left and right saying no they not willing to do any collabs no we don't have any fragrances to give you you can buy something from our website um, you know all that kind of crap and sensual obsessions is really the only one that constantly uh keeps the hits coming um and now this fragrance house is hitting me up i reached out to dua i reached out to alexandria i reached out to alt and nobody responds back at least give a response you know email me back and tell me fuck no or hell no we're not sending you jack get off our page say something don't just ignore somebody you know what i'm saying i've i have had fragrance companies like i said tell me they're not interested or you know go buy something or whatever um and for the most part um yeah so what i have in this box is from the company or house of Happy Land, uh, Happy Land Studio, and this one is called Home for the Holidays. And I've already smelled all of these yesterday, and I already can tell you right now which one is my favorite, but I'll wait. Um, so this one, as you can tell, Home for the Holidays is actually a holiday-inspired fragrance. Damn good atomizer. Now, Home for the Holidays... It actually smells like Trey Sense kind of said. Kind of reminds you of uh, like some some cookies, some ginger cookies, or some kind of spiced cookies or cakes or something like that. It's not a bad fragrance. I actually like this. Um, you will be walking around smelling like some damn holiday pastries or something like that. It kind of has that almost, uh, what's the creamers, the, the flavored creamers that you put in? Not the powdered stuff, the, the pump kind that you got now, the liquid kind of creamer that you put in. It almost has that kind of smell to it, almost like a a mixture of maybe a coffee and I 
You know what this really reminds me of? If you've ever eaten one of those Werther's Originals, the coffee kind, that's what it kind of smells like to me. But yeah, it kind of has this holiday kind of vibe. If you have this fragrance, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and if, if you get it, you'll get what I'm saying. Next, we have Cure Cafe. Which is this one. And let's see. Give it a spray. So on the fourth pump, I got juice. I don't know about this one. This one, I can't put my, I can't, it kind of has a cafe type vibe to it. Like if you've ever been to like Starbucks or any uh, place that sells a lot of coffee, like you walk in and you can just smell the coffee, it has that type of vibe to it, but I'm getting something a little off-putting. It's almost like rubber or something. I don't know what that is. It's not pleasant though. At least not to me. That's not that's my least favorite right now. And I didn't spray all of these yesterday. Um I don't believe I did. I think I sprayed two of them. And it wasn't these two. But that's my least favorite. That Cure Cafe, I don't, I don't know, I'm not feeling that one. And that's being honest. That's not, I mean, I'll wear it because I got it for free. Um, you know what I'm saying? They were generous enough to gift this to me so I can give my honest opinion. But that's my least favorite. There's something off-putting. I need to look the notes up on that one and find out what's in it. That is not... To me, personally, that's not pleasant. Something in it is off-putting to me. Maybe it'll change a little later, but as of right now, on initial first impression, the initial spray, I don't like it. So, I'll give it a dry down. Uh, you can tell it's oily. They made with, with decent... Like, you can kind of see my hand is shiny. Like, right here. And then on my wrist, it's probably going to be hard to see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. But I can see it. It's right here. Right on, on the bottom main of my lion. It's shiny. So, all right. So, here we have Barbershop. And I'm one of those guys, I love the smell of the Barbershop. I don't go often only when my son is here and I take him to get a, a you know a lineup because he got them twists and whatever in his head so um, but I love the smell of the barbershop <clears throat> they mix something with their alcohol that they spray on you that gives it that that barbershoppy fresh kind of smell um, I like the powder that they use like it's a mixture of everything that they got going on in there uh, that gives it that vibe and I like that smell. But I'm not big on a lot of barbershop fragrances. I had some Azaro fragrances, the original, that kind of smelled barbershop y. Um, I do have, I think, one or two maybe that smell barbershop y now. But I'm not big on barbershop fragrances. So I'm going to give it a shot, though, just to see. For spray. Now this also is not one of my favorites. I don't, I'm not big on this either. It kind of smells, it 
it's not really barbershoppy smelling to me. It's almost urinal cake-ish. And I'm not saying that in a bad way because, you know, you walk into a bathroom, you don't want to smell piss. You want to smell something clean and fresh. And, you know, urinal cakes aren't bad, but it's almost giving me, personally speaking, a bathroomy, urinal cake-ish type vibe. I like this one a little better than the caf the uh, Cure Cafe, but it's not high on my totem pole either. Uh, these last two are actually my favorite two. And it's kind of hard for me to choose between these two, which one would be number one. Because I like both of these. But I'm going to do my best right now. So as you can see I already sprayed that one yesterday. So that's one spray. That is in the air already. And you can see that on my arm. That's a good spray. Oh I love that so much. And I'm going to tell you guys. Just hold on what the name of these two are. Now the atomizer on this one is kind of funny. I was trying to push, squeeze the trigger and the atomizer started trying to lean back like Fat Joe. You can see it on that gun right there. Welcome to the gun show. I know my arms aren't the biggest in the world. I'm not Hulk Hogan with... 22 inch pythons or nothing like that. I need to get my fat ass in the gym. All right, so the first one I sprayed on this arm, as you can see, it's still glowing like Bruce Leroy in uh, The Last Dragon. This was Happy Land Studios Happy Land Signature. And that, my friends, is a nice fragrance that is fire i like that over the other three so far but who's gonna be number one because i'm a sucker for plums i tried to get some plums i think it was yesterday from winn dixie and they were hard as hell and the ones that i find that was soft they were too soft almost to the point where they were starting to go mushy so I didn't end up getting anything. I was about to buy a dragon fruit, but being that I only had one and I didn't find anything else I wanted that was decent, I put the dragon fruit back. And I've never tried dragon fruit as far as like buying a fresh one and cutting it. And if it was in something else, I didn't know. But I will go back and try to check, check that out. I do want to try it. It looks funny, but I'm going to see what it tastes like. So the other one I wore... Like I said, I love Plum. This is their version or their rendition or their original, whatever it is. I think it may be a clone of something. But this is Plum Loco. And, oh. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this because... Plum Loco and Happy Land Signature, to me, are the best two from this company. Third would be Home for the Holidays. And the last two, honestly speaking, I don't like much. But if I had to rank them, uh, it would go... Let's see. It would go Happy Land, Home for the Holidays, number three. I will probably go Cure Cafe at number four. Number five, which is the least. Um, I did. I think I did say I like this one better than Cure Cafe, but I have to take that back. Um, Barbershop is probably dead last at number five. Number four is Cure Cafe. Uh, like I said, number three, Home for the Holidays. And I 
I just can't choose between these two which ones would which one would be number two and which one would actually be my number one. They both smell amazing. They smell great. I can't vouch for performance yet because I just got them yesterday. But the way they smell, they smell like they're going to project, they're going to last. Um, the oil resin is still on my arm, as you can see, even on that side. All right, so <laughs> as of right now, I think I'm going to do Signature at number two and Plum Loco at number one. I have to. That's nice. Both of those are nice. I don't know, man. It, it's it can number one and number two can be interchangeable uh, because both of those smell <laughs> they smell great. I just can't choose, and right now I have it set. But I can easily say that Signature can be number one on a specific day, and Loco can be number two. Um, those are the only two out of these five that are interchangeable to me. The rest are where they are, and hopefully, Happy Land Signature, uh, Happy Land Studios will be gracious and generous enough, maybe sometime in the future when they get some new product out. Um, maybe to send me um, some more samples to review um, I know you guys have to make money um, and I respect that if you don't send anything else it's fine I understand but anytime you want to send a sample out you don't always have to send these you can you know grab a decant and send a small sample of something that's more than generous to me you know what I'm saying I don't, I don't have to be you know blessed with actual full bottles like this like but I thank you anyway so that's my honest first impression maybe if some of this stuff changes um, on the dry down the first one I sprayed which was it uh the home for the holidays it does have that curic you know the little curic uh the little coffee things you put inside the machine you push the thing down and it makes the little coffee it kind of has that kind of vibe to it um or one of those like i said one of those liquid creamers um but for the most part it's not bad I don't know if I want to walk around smelling like coffee or Keurig or something like that all day, but it's not bad. That barber shop, eh, I don't know about that one. Uh, the Cure coffee is not too bad. That um, barber shop one. I'm not feeling that one. Um, that's just not my style. Um, maybe I will. Uh, I may give it a wearing just to see what happens, but that's not one of my faves. I may end up doing a giveaway on that one. Just let me get some testing out of it. Maybe one or two sprays just to see what it how it goes at work or something like that. And maybe we'll do something if I don't like it. But for the most part. Um, that's my least favorite. So uh, one more time. At number five, Barbershop. Number four, Keurig Cafe. Number three, Home for the Holidays. Number two, <laughs> Plum Loco. And number one is Happy Land Signature. And those two can be interchangeable at any point in time. Because those two, in my opinion, are the best right now. Uh, I know other people's opinion may be different. Some may say barbershop is the best. Some may say, you know, home for the holidays, whatever. It is what it is. We're all entitled to our opinions. All the thing I ask is that we respect each other's opinions. So with that being said, guys, I am out of here. Thank you to Happy Land Studios for responding to a message that I posted on Facebook. Um, I wasn't disrespectful in what I said. 
I was just commenting on something somebody posted about one of these fragrances. I think it was Home for the Holidays. And I said that I um, reached out to their company and I got no response. I didn't say fuck them or, you know, they some punks for not sending me whatever. I just said what I said. And the guy jumped in the comment section. I, I'm not sure if it was his post or what, but he jumped in the comment section and was like, I... Uh, something about he don't um he usually don't miss uh requests or messages or something like that uh emailed me and i emailed him gave him my address and you see what happened he sent me five fragrances and i, I appreciate it greatly um also shout out to zaharoff um george zaharoff you are the man great fragrance um, if this is your first one, kudos to you for doing such an excellent job on this one. Like I said, guys, to me, this is probably not the best, but it is good. Trust me. Um, very versatile fragrance. Any time of the year, any season, I think this is potent enough to get you through the winter um, and fresh enough and clean enough to get you through spring and summer. Uh, so fall and winter pretty much falls in the same category in my book. So thank you, George Zahara, for this. And the mention that I mentioned in the beginning, Sensual Obsessions. Once again, I know I just did a video about this one, but thank you again for uh, being kind, courteous, and generous enough to send me these samples. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all three companies. You are amazing people. Keep doing what you're doing. Your fragrances are the bomb for the most part. Uh, Happy Land Signatures, three of those, two of those are not my favorite, but, you know, fragrances are are susceptible or sub subjectable, however you want to say it. Subject, you know what the hell I'm saying. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.